Um, you've just capped oh, yeah. passenger numbers at 100,000 per day. Why is that? Well, this is departing passenger numbers. And the reason we've done that is to keep the demand at the airport in balance with the capacity of the airline's ground handlers. What we've seen over the course of this year is we've been scaling up across the airport. We've hired 1,300 people just within our own team. That's a 25% increase, uh, trying to get ahead of demand. And we've performed really well at both Easter and the Jubilee half term. But what we start, started to see towards the end of June was that demand was getting ahead of where the airline's capacity was. And what where, the way that came out was that we started to see more cases of uh, aeroplanes being held off stand, uh, late delivery of bags, bags not being taken out of the baggage system and causing congestion. And then worst of all, some planes leaving without any bags on board and some last minute cancellations. And that was the early warning signal that we had that we had to act to cap demand in line with the airline's ground handler supply so that we could protect journeys over the summer. And that cap has worked. Um, I'm in Terminal 5 right now. It's running smoothly. And we've got millions of passengers away in the last couple of weeks with an untroubled journey. Uh, and we'll get millions of more travelling with confidence through Heathrow this summer. Um, the airlines say that you should have anticipated this increase of demand and raised staffing capacity accordingly. Well, we absolutely have. Uh, back in November of last year, we started to increase our, our uh, capacity. Uh, we have as many people working in security as we had before COVID. Uh, we've got as many people working in our wheelchair support services as we had before COVID. The issue is the ground handling staff, which are employed by the airlines, has not increased at all in the last six months. And that is what needs to change. And so many of the issues that I've had passengers writing to me about, complaining about late delivery of bags or, or late cancellations, are because of that lack of ground handling resource. And as the airport operator, we have a view of how the whole airport system works, and we can see where the problems are. And we took the responsible action to step in and put a cap on demand. And that has really worked to make sure that people can travel with confidence. And this is not just a Heathrow, of course. Um, all uh, airports and airlines are uh, struggling with the, uh, co to cope with the increase in demand. Um, half of all the people employed in ground handling across Europe left the industry during COVID. And uh, in most airlines have been struggling to get enough people back again. And I think it will take 12 to 18 months as a minimum before they have fully replaced all the people that they lost during COVID. Uh, so uh, we will work with them to support them. We'll help them with the recruitment. Uh, we are already lending them people to help with the baggage system. But we cannot have a situation where people are leaving without their bags or have a last minute cancellation. And that's why the cap is in place. And I should say, actually, our cap is 50% larger than the cap at Amsterdam, which is our nearest competitor. And that shows how uh, collectively uh, we've done a really good job to get ready for this. But there comes a point when we have to say enough is enough to protect the holiday travel plans for millions of passengers through Heathrow this summer. Obviously, uh, bottlenecks uh, in hiring are partly down to people getting security clearance. Is the government doing as much as it could do in that respect? Well, we'd like to see them speed up with that. A lot of the ground handling roles are uh, very much uh, sought after. It's the same people who could go and work in Amazon with, with clean driving licenses. Um, and if you remember, it's not many months ago that it's those driving skills that were uh, in such short supply. And I think that's where a lot of the people who had been working in ground handling have moved on to. So the ground handlers need to be competitive in terms of the pay that they have, the terms and conditions to attract people in. Airlines have to allow them to increase their charges to be able to cover those additional costs. Um, but we also need to see a, 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 an acceleration in um, getting people security cleared. Because if you've got a job offer from Amazon, which starts today, and one from uh, a ground handler that starts in three months' time when you've gone through security clearance, you're obviously going to take the bird in the hand. Um, so government can help. Uh, if we had quicker access to the HMRC tax records, that would speed things along. Uh, there's been some progress on that, but not nearly enough to get people into the airport quickly. And that's one of the reasons why I think it will take at least 12 to 18 months before airlines have enough ground handlers to meet the demand. All right, John Holland-Kay, good to talk to you again this morning. Thanks very much indeed. Thanks, Ian.